but we're fishing really specific small stuff. And that's what a lot of these bigger fish, or this time of year, really most of the fish are holding on it. And Rob, you know, I got a buoy marker in my hand. That's kind of part two. Show these guys what part one is, how we locate these fish. Part one is, you know, I'm gonna narrow this water down by using the side image technology. I'm gonna look on the bottom. It's gonna give you uh, structure to the left and right. And you can actually see the fish, small detail, clam beds or whatnot. You zoom in here, you can see what I got some structure laying on the bottom of the ground here. We can see possibly a few fish laying around that and that's where we're gonna give a that's where we're gonna give our first start today. So once we locate it, I mean we can use the graph and me and you kinda know where to cast from there, but really easy just toss one of these over. Yeah with my clients I'll be able to put the visual buoy in. They know exactly where to cast. It helps everybody all around. We don't have to pay attention to the graph as much. So it makes it really simple. So we'll just start out throwing a crank and tube and see what happens. You know, Rob, when, when you set up on one of these little spots, some days they're going to be up off the bottom, right? That's correct. And when that happens, you know, something like a drop shot or a crankbait is probably going to be your better bet. Uh, where I've got a, I know I got a little tube on. My thinking is, is when they're up, they're chasing something different than they were on the bottom. Maybe correct. It's I mean, if they're or... looking down, that's going to be a, a predominant goby bite. Most of the time, that's what we're out here. We're on this rock structure on the bottom, the gobies are all over it. If you find the if you find the rock, isolated rock piles out here on the bay, you're gonna find the gobies, which obviously the fish are gonna be with them. We have some really good fish in here. Somewhat of a kept secret, you know, I mean, a lot of people this time of year are in the woods or they've went to the west side of the state to do some salmon fishing. Can't, I mean, obviously you can see today, not a whole lot of boats out in this beautiful day. You know, that crankbait though, it, it if they're going to hit it, it's a great way to cover water a lot faster, you know, than what I'm doing here with the tube and, you know, just cracking the bottom. Ooh. Oh, yeah. I, I, you know, I was just starting to talk about maybe maybe I might need a crankbait, but Rob, I think we got a, I think we got one on a tube here. Yeah, it wasn't acting like a big one, and now it's just got me doubled. So Play it for a little bit. Yeah, okay, here we go. Here we go. There he is. That's a nice little chunky. You know, and... Same thing as you, you know, I, I hooked into something. Look how fat that thing is. Yeah, that's a pretty fish. You know, that's just a really fat fish. It's not super long by any stretch of the imagination, but. Swallowed it. Yeah, he was on it. That's a good sign. Here. Ooh, here we go. Yeah, you just let the fish tell you what they want. Oh, like that. That was sitting still, Rob. Just sitting <laughs> still. <clears throat> hey, sometimes they like it slow. It's on the bottom of this time of year. It's a good time to get it. You know, out there on Lake Erie where I guide, Usually the nastier the better. The fish don't seem to really mind what we're going through up there. Bass, you know, are a little different than them walleyes. And you know, a lot of times, especially in the Great Lakes, when it's flat, calm, and sunny, stuff we like to fish in, that's really what they like. And we canceled coming up here, I don't know how many times, because we had northeast winds, six to eight foot waves. I'm sure you guys can relate to that. Just, it wasn't gonna be a good day. And uh, the calm conditions and kind of the offshore winds made a big difference. Um, it allows you to stay in the spot, but there, there's something to them fish. And, you know, I don't know if I knew all that, I probably wouldn't have to be sitting here. But uh, nice weather on the Great Lakes for smallies. Man, if you get it, you better go. Gobbled it, man. You know, Rob, this thing was not even moving when he hit it, man. There's one. You got it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. Look, oh, right. yeah. Nice darky there. Mm. Jumping around a little bit. Showing off. Right you literally were how many feet smacked. from that buoy marker? Real close. Yeah, that's a good one. He's not done yet. Mm -hmm. By no means. R round. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's a good. Oh fish. yeah. Oh yeah. Oh. That's a good. Dude, fish. That's what we're looking for right there. Pop. Oh yeah. Rob, show that's them. gonna go good. Show them that's people good what fish. you just did. Look at that. Wearing that thing like braces. Nice fish. You know, the first question, guys, what likely are gonna ask is, you know, what the heck did you go all the way to Saginaw Bay, Lake Huron? You know, the fish, I mean, isn't there enough fish back home right in Lake Erie where I live or, you know, on Lake St. Clair where we shot last year? And the answer is, yeah, heck, there is. But you, you always need to find things that are easy, you know, to reproduce and, and to go to. And a couple of things on Saginaw Bay this time of year, there's a lot of good fishing, you know, that's protected areas. And Rob's got these fish pretty dialed in. You know, it's not like we're just running around there in the middle of nowhere. Um, but if you're 20, 30 feet off, you know, it makes a huge, huge difference. And that's where that side imaging comes into play. I mean, it is your starting point. So how long? I gotta keep asking silly questions here. How long? Because I know guys ask me this stuff, you know, when I'm in my backyard.
before you would switch. You know, we progressively, every fish has gotten bigger. Before you switch to, you know, maybe a drop shot or a different crank or something, just because you know there's some good ones here. Obviously history, but then also today, you know, catching some. Um, I don't know. You what's know, that decision you're catching maker? them on the tubes, your little slower presentation. That's going to tell me maybe I need to slow down on my on your retrieve. My retrieve a little bit. You know, they're going to tell you what they want. There's fish. Oh, boy. Dude, you're right going to make me put a crank Right on. at the buoy. So we started out uh, with the tube and the crank. Tube picked up a little bit, so I slowed down the crankbait just a little bit and started picking up a little more fish with a slower presentation. Could be the time of day. We had heavy winds for the last three days. It could have done a little something to the temperature of the water. And that's it's kind of what we stuck with. We even slowed it down even more with the drop shot and started picking up a lot better fish. That sounds like a fish. That's a fish. Oh, this fish just got off. Right now. Better to have hooked and lost than to have never hooked at all? Yeah, there's plenty of fish down there. Let's go. It wasn't big enough, right? Too small. Yeah, that was too small. That's what I was thinking. Catch and release. It'll be back. There you go. Right charge, the charge, charge. Right at the boat, man. Yeah, you know they're, laying, they're laying right here. That's that new little hand pour I got. It's basically the same thing as you. Yeah, I got it. I think so. I don't I, want to quit fishing. You don't want to quit fishing. I already I'm not, know. I'm not gonna I already stop. know. I already know. I just got to be careful because I got light, light mine. It's a long here. reach. Long reach. And he took my little hand pour too. Well, when we come back, we're going to be drop shotting, tubing, and cranking and raw, basically whatever else we can do to catch these things, aren't we? Correct. And we are still in the search for the big mouth. I've been catching them on this little convincing custom lures here. It's a hand pour thing. Soft, it's nice as catching Very them, soft. but we want bigger ones. We're greedy. I Let's mean, go. how many times do guys come? Oh, oh. Speaking of which. Oh. Dude, I might be, oh, holy moly. That's better. Dude. What'd you say about go hey. big or go home? Go bigger, Rob, you went big. I'm, I'm taking partial credit for that well, because- we're not you, going home anytime soon. I was catching more for a little bit there, and Rob says, hey man, you're catching those. I'm gonna slow down a little bit. And as soon as he did that, you know, boom, we kind of got on to, hey, slow that crankbait down. Um, and that worked for a while, but like fish and everything else in life, things change quickly. And that's when that drop shot really excelled. Uh, I mean, it really took off. And that was the bait that we both threw for quite a while. Look at that rod, maxed out. Did you see how dark that thing was when it came out of the water? It looked like a bowling ball coming at me. There you go. Oh my God. That's Rob. it. Rob, what's up, Daddy? Show the, <laughs> show go bigger, go home. Show them what We're you got. We're not going home. Now that is a Saginaw Bay smallmouth. That sounds like a hookup. Another hookup. Is it a zonka donkey? Yeah, I think that. Is it a donkey? <laughs> Ooh. I would say it's a good one. I haven't seen How about it this yet. one? There we go. Uh, double! <laughs> yeah, double trouble. Oh, oh yeah! two giants. <laughs> that is a real nice one. Okay, we're gonna. We Who's can... gonna get first, oh. yours? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dude, I'm a guide. I step on the net handle. This is my yeah, first really guest. You're the guest. I'll let you get it. Oh, I only got seven. It's not on. every day you get to catch these fish. <laughs> <laughs> Rob. This is stopping my heart. Oh, yeah, that's oh my oh, God. God. I got it. Here, Dude. Do them. Double scooper. <laughs> Catch up with the can. Another. We told you we were going to get in some big ones, and me and Rob doubled up, didn't we? Doubled up. Double the trouble. A little double big bite fun. baits, a little fluky looking deal. You got it. Mine double might up. be a little bigger. Yeah, maybe not. You'd have to hold that pretty, <laughs> pretty far out. That would be oh, a giant you. rock bass. Hey, Rob, that looks, did you do that all by yourself? I just wanted to show you some of the other things you can catch out here on the Saginaw Bay. I'm going to guess that's not a rock bass. Uh, no, that's darky. Mm, looking like a bowling ball. Coming you don't mind here. if I keep fishing, dude? Dude, you're, you're, you gave up on me a half an hour ago. Okay. Are you kidding? You got that? I you got able to get it I got yourself? It. I got it. You know, Rob's a good fishing buddy of mine. I mean, heck, you don't invite anybody on your show you're good fishing buddies with. And, you know, we like to give each other a hard time. And 
Uh, you know, we start off all nice and cordial. You know, he's netting my fish, I'm netting his. And all of a sudden, it's a free for all, man. I got a fish on, he's got one on. We got one net, he's got a fish in the net. I'm over there hand landing them and, and vice versa. Uh, it really, you know, when we got dialed in, it made a difference. I mean, the net was flying and all hands, basically it was a free-for-all. I mean, it was every man for himself. How about that? Come on, you're in the spot. You gotta move. Next one's up. Right in the corner again. You know, that, that big bite bait, that little fluke style bait, that's kind of been the deal, hasn't it? I use it all year long, you know? Just an absolute little chunk of monkey. You, know, you want me to hold this? Because hey, show them who's watch bigger. This one. Watch this do you want me to show you who's bigger? Do you want me to hold on, or what do you want me to do? You, want me to yeah, you might go? want to put that back in there. Dude, let's hold on. Let's see. All right, yeah, you can hold on. I, like I got my, you. I like my chances. Oh, you know you don't. Here. I like my chances. Certified proof, right there. Right, you know, you're the guest. It was a perfect day. Started out really well. We we're kind of real cordial, netting each other's fish. And then, you know, and we started picking them up two or three at a time, double headers. And then, that, you know, after that, it was every man for himself. I got, it was a lot of fun. Had a lot of fun with everybody today on the boat. It just worked out really well. Dude, you've been, I mean, after that, you threw me the wolves. It was all like nice, gaity, gaity, and then it was boom. <laughs> I mean, hatchet across the head, man. Gosh. Yeah, if you don't think what we're doing makes makes a difference, just try throwing something that's not catching them. Yeah. Just, like this. There you go. Oh, yeah, boy! I wasn't even moving that thing. It was just sitting still, just letting a little bobby bobby. Is that the one we're looking for? Oh. All right, it looks like uh, it. You want me to help you? Uh, you can make I'm grunting. Your it's hand like, getting... It's like I'm at the gym and I'm uh, lifting weights and I can't quite get it. It's a good one, dude. I ain't gonna lie to you. Here, I'm gonna go around Sorry, it. Can I, can I circle around I you a little bit? Go ahead. That's it. That's a good one. My partner left. Yeah, if me. you don't get pumped I'm up, telling, I'm, fish I'm, like this. I, I got it. I got oh, okay. it. I mean, you know, you, you're gonna leave me, so I, I, I'll, I'll get it. Go don't ahead. worry. Help yourself. You know, it's a little more stained in here. That's kind of the only difference I'm seeing. Just a slightly different, more off-colored water, huh? Yeah, the water's changed a little bit. We were a little more shallow. The winds blew into this spot the last three days in a row, so we'll see what kind of fish are holding in here. It looks like we've, we saw quite a few on the side image when we came across. I mean, the side imaging is just such an unbelievable piece of equipment. I mean, it doesn't just make your job eat. Ooh, right at the buoy. Yeah, right at the buoy. I told you. Is that a... Oh, yeah. You come right across. I mean, you can see those fish. You see the whole school of fish laying right on that side image. Just throw that throw the buoy right on top of those fish, and this is what happens. Drop a waypoint, you come back to it. That's like stout. Very active fish. Do you want me to net this for you? I mean, you so, can, I, can, you so can, I can't catch anything? To. Yeah. God. Remember, this is what friends are for. I'll pay you back. You're too slow. I, I think I'm... <laughs> I know. <laughs> I'm one-handed. She's not done yet. It's a donkey too. Not done. Son. Yet. Okay, that's a donkey. Show, show, show them people what you got. Oh yeah, that's a nice fish. That might be. I like the coloration on that fish. It's yeah, perfect. Pretty. It's as easy as that. Side image buoy, drop shot, fish. Yeah, I got a feeling we're on. This. Oh, oh. Okay, I'm getting a phone call right now. 
from uh, small mouth bass they said they give up. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh. Woo! Dude! <laughs> yeah. Donkzilla. Keep it going. We got hooks all up in the head, hooks up in the... How about that Saginaw Bay giant? What's up, Dad? Nice. Rob? You know, me and Rob were at that point where we had caught just a ton of fish, and that's a great problem. Nobody wants to hear you complain, but we're trophy hunters at heart. You know, we drove up here a few hours. We didn't come up here to get a 14-inch bass, and we had a bunch, you know, fish over four pounds, and me and Rob kind of looked at each other. We kind of just knew it was time to make a little move, and, uh, you know, a lot of guys won't make that move. It's kind of like just we talk about changing lures and, and colors and different things when you're catching them. Well, we, we moved all together spots. And I mean, it made a big difference. I and mean, we went from catching fours to some sixes and six pluses. Oh, right here at the boat. Look at that one. Right at the boat, man. I guess the buoy marker was an indicator. I mean, that thing hit with like five feet of line out, Rob. I mean, that's it, boom. Trying not to break your stuff. Oh, that's a nice one. I hear. <laughs> Another. This one, uh, he had me all discombobulated. <laughs> yeah, surprise. Well, I mean, when you when you get a fish with like five feet of line out that just hammers it, I mean, first thing is you, you think you're hung up on right. I mean, you know, that just doesn't happen, Yeah, you happen, got the right? buoy again or something. Nope. Nope. Just the big That's monster, the best of the best right there. So crank is just banging the bottom right there. Yeah. Right at the boat. <laughs> you don't even know it's hooked yet. That would be a dumb one if you didn't. Oh, oh boy. How's that one? Oh, just solid fish, man. Look at that. Like a chew it, eat it. That little John's been a good one today. And you know that nasty, I think they call that nasty shed, don't they? Get a nasty shed, it's, nasty hair. It's hairy. naughty, I can tell you that. They might want to call that naughty shed, because that's about what it's been right there, naughty. Oh, right here, right here, right, right the at the boat. Right at the boat. Good one. Give oh, yeah. Oh, give yeah. Room. oh yeah. Oh dude, oh, it's, yes. it's, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a netter. It is big. Yeah, that's a good one. Don't lose that one, baby. Dude, I'm I'm just I'm just holding, 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 letting you go. Hold on, hold on. Uh, come on. No more. Let me see the head. Woo! <laughs> Rob. That, you my know, friend. What a way to end the show. You know, Rob, this me and you've been fishing buddies for a while. And last winter, I ran into you on the ice, and we were talking about getting together and doing some fishing, and you said, if I come up, you were gonna get me some donkeys. And I'll tell you what, I don't know how big that one is, but I know it's probably six pounds. That's I a mean, good fish. It's, it's a giant. And it's been one of those days we've thrown, we started off, you know, it really evolved. The hummingbird side imaging is the deal. You've gotta locate them. But then after we, we had these little spot on spots, we threw the buoy, really what it came down to was, Evolution, I started throwing a tube and you threw a crank. Correct. We kind of dialed that in. You slowed down because I was catching more on the tube. Then we went to the drop shot, started catching them off bottom a little bit. We switched to the crank, we caught tons of fish in the drop shot, but this is what happened when we went to the cranks. At the end of the day, we went back to the cranks, and guess what? You know, we dialed in the color um, and, and it was just crazy. So I can't thank you enough for having a great Absolutely. day. And I'll tell you what. Finally got to make it up.